it's really easy to add a fade out on your track. And you can do this with volume automation on the master fader. Very straightforward stuff. Why would I want to do this? Well, I want to create a shorter track, so I'm going to tailor off the end there. And we're going to double click here on the master fader so that we can get the sequence editor and the master fader track. And we're going to close the tracks editor there, and we're just going to focus on the master fader. Let me just scroll a little bit to the right over here so that we can get the end and take a look and see what we have here. And I think I'm going to add some automation, let's just say starting from bar 57. So I'm going to click here. Let's just get this going. You can see the master fader automation is already on. So I'm just going to have this end right about here. And I click here and then drag down and there we go. We have our fade out. It's that easy. Just do a little more tweaking. So let's just play this back. Now you need to have your automation on. It was already on. I'm going to show you can also record automation this way as well, right? So right now we've turned the playback for the automation off. I'm going to turn it back on again. Here we go. Take a listen. Take it slow. Great, so now what we need to do is we need to select which part of this song we want to bounce to disc and we need to include this fade out but nothing after it. So we're going to go to the tracks view or the tracks editor and we're going to select from the automation here and the tracks that we want, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. And we're going to go to the beginning of the track. In my case, my track starts at bar two ish. Okay, so we're going to do a little creative selection here. Let's go to this selection information here and I'm going to click and drag down on these ticks here until I get exactly what I want. Let's just zoom in. And there we go. I think we got everything. Yes, we did. And let's just press Control and J and now we can bounce to disk.